What up, y'all? Um, it's gonna be a different video for today. Ugh, back home. But listen, guys. I wasn't gonna do this video. But what I wanted to do is that I wanted to relax. I wanted to think about it. I did not want to post the other video that I originally was going to plan because I was going to cuss a lot. I was going to throw a lot of swearing, you know, and I don't want to get flagged for that. But I'll tell you this. My experience at Staples Center, aside from the players, the rules in there, man. The rules there really, really sucked. You know, I came in there with a positive mindset. Win or lose, whatever. Um, went in there, you know, went inside the arena. And I walk in with me and... Me and, my, me and my friend, and we get in there, and then they said, oh, no Sharpies allowed. Oh, okay, fine. That's totally fine. Right, so they took my Sharpies off the bat. Took my Sharpies, like, oh, blah, 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 people vandalize it, and stuff like that. And I'll tell you a little later on, now I know why people do what they do there. So, they took my pen, totally fine, I was just there for get my autographs, you know, get a photo op, stuff like that. So I get in there. I went to the head, and I guess to the guest services. Stormed in there. Went in there, it was like, blah, blah, explain how I felt. You know, I said, I've been to, like, a bunch of arenas in the United States. And, uh, you know, I was already thrown off the bat. They were like, no, you know, their, their workers were just totally disrespectful. Just because I'm not from L.A. and stuff like that. Totally explainable. But, come on. Even though I'm not from there, you treat your visitors like trash? No wonder what people do what they do there. No wonder they trash up the bathrooms in there, man. Oh, my goodness. Like, oh, well, we don't have a policy because, you know, people vandalize stuff inside the arena. Well, that's your, that's your guys' fault. That's... That's not my fault. That's the people's fault, man. People get mad in that arena because you guys throw some BS rules. I don't know why. I mean, I understand rules are rules. You can say it professionally. But you yelling at me? Giving me attitude? The disrespect? You throwing at me like I'm some type of dirt? Nah. So anywho, I said, oh, have a good day. I'm just like, well, my day was great until you ruined it. So I told him straight up how I felt. Have a good day. Okay, that's fine. You can handle it professionally. Totally fine. I said, okay, have a good one. I said, all right. So I was like, handle my business there. So I was like, oh, I was totally fine with that. So I tried to cool down, you know. So it's already been hit twice already. They were not saying this nice, by the way. They were saying this, like, in a mean voice. Just because I'm repping a different team, which is totally fine. But I've been to a, a bunch of other arenas. And the staff there were nice. The fans were nice. But now, I'm like, fine. I get there, I'm starting to get ready to go to my seat, and, um, oh, let me see your seat, let me see your ticket, let me see your ticket, okay, you don't have to ask me rudely, I'm like, hold on a second, I'll give you my ticket, I'll show you my ticket, nice and calm, okay, get to my seat, you know what I'm saying? I'm not a far away from my seat. It's just corner of my seat. And this lady, this lady, uh, I wish I could pull out my camera. I should have pulled it out. But she said, oh, you can't record. Blah, 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 blah. You can't do this. You can't do that. And she's doing this with like a, 
a mean attitude like, hey, guys. So, let me continue on about the pen situation. So, they confiscated my pen in the beginning. And guess what? I start, I, as I said before, I went to my seat. And all I see, 10, 15 people have all their markers out, have all their pens, got all the autographs. And keep in mind, there's this one guy that was actually right next to my seating, but his section was in the high section. I could tell because after he was done with the warm ups, guess what? Whoop, all the way back up. And I turned around and I looked up at the very sky. And he was over there. The guy probably lied about everything. Just saying, oh, I sit here, blah, blah, blah. No wonder LA. LA is a bunch of fake people. You know, lying a bunch, a bunch of stuff. Lying about everything. Lying about this and lying about that. I can see how fake the city is. No wonder people have a bad rap about the city. And they don't have the guts to tell it how it is. Because LA is all the, the best. The Hollywood Hills, the everything, the money. I think money don't mean squat. People think money, whatever. I don't care. I don't want to talk about money later, but I'll talk about it later on. But the disrespect to not just visitors, but also to the people in there. They were getting mad at people. You shouldn't yell at people. You shouldn't be doing this and doing that. Respect people, man. I'm a very nice person. You know, but at the end of the day, unprofessional. They did their job terribly. And yeah, and I'm going to post this. This is it, man. And that lady, be professional and say it in a professional manner. You know, you don't talk down to me. You shouldn't talk down to anyone. Disrespecting people, that's not right. You know, treat people the way that you want to treat people. Treat them with respect, not disrespect. Now, if they give you disrespect, now you get mad because they threw the dirt right back at you. That The one that you started. And I, I handled myself as a true professional. And, anywho, that lady. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to keep talking to you about it. What are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just trying to get... Get a picture. You know, I'm trying to get an autograph. You know, I'm trying to get something. You know, I'm repping my team. I want to show them their support. Oh, no, 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 sir. You cannot go here. I said, go there. I said, I, I said, okay, totally understandable. This line right here, this is VIP. I know that. I even told her already. Because I've already been to a multiple arenas. You know, some of the rules are different. Some of the rules are the same. But there is a line that you could tell where the VIP section is. And my seat is like literally one seat away from the VIP. And she told me not to sit there. Or get near there. So, I was like, totally fine. And my seat is literally just one seat away. So, I'm just trying to get, you know, an autograph, a picture because I was already mad about the pen situation. But she's like yelling at me like, I'm going to do something, you know. I'm going to do something bad. I'm not even doing nothing. I'm so nice. You know, I was, you know, telling her a joke about, you know, random stuff. Like, how's life, you know. You know, stuff like that. Just funny lives. Cool vibes. Totally fine. And she's like, you can't go there. I, we're not even at the... This is not the VIP section. You can still, like, my seat is, like, literally, like, this is where my seat is. And I can't even go, like, right here. And this is the other side. It's not even VIP yet. VIP is, like, one row ahead of us. But I'm not even going in front of you guys. It's completely different. I am just went right here. And she started yelling at me. <laughs> Bro, I take two steps. One, two. Uh, you can't go there. This it's, we're in the same row. She's like, no, you can't go there. So I'm like, man, disrespect. Um, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm not running onto the court. I'm not running into the court. You could just say it nicely, but you're like 
acting all like you're like better than me or something. Maybe it's because maybe it's your attitudes. Maybe it's the LA attitude. Who knows? That's why I I always hear about a bad rap in LA, man. Think they're whole oh, Mr. Macho. You know what I'm saying? With the rules and stuff. Totally fine. But you could just say it in a respectful way. In a nice way. That's all I was asking for. But yelling at me? The way that you are talking to me? Come on. I was nice and calm. I was nice and relaxed. I tried not to throw a fit. But I'm telling you guys. I ain't going back to Staples Center, man. The staff there are very disrespectful. I'm very nice. I had a couple, you know, my team lost. And, you know, I said, hey, good job, guys. Congratulations. Congratulations. Totally happy for them. You know, good for them. I said, congratulations on you guys' win. So, anywho, we get there. And I don't know what it was, but chill there for a second, and they tell us to leave, I said, okay, totally fine, you got, he's like, no, you guys gotta leave, you gotta get out of here, now, I'm like, I'm just waiting for everything to die down so I can start leaving, I said, dude, there's gonna be traffic, it's LA, no, you got five minutes, or, matter of fact, you gotta get going now, I was like, okay, but you can say that in a nice way. That's my response. It's like, well, you got to get going. Okay. He's like, he saw him as a tough guy with his little Usher shirt. Oh, oh, you're so tough. You know, I was like, you know what? Screw that. Let's just get out of here. And you know what? Overall, I know it's a long video. Um, but the reason why the fans do what they do in that arena, man, the staff out there, now you see why, why people get mad in there. I ain't going back over there, man. Yelling at me, screaming at me, taking my Sharpies, trying to kick me out. I didn't do nothing. Didn't do nothing. I was trying to take a picture of one of the players, uh, Marco Bellinelli, to be exact. Um, the lady was just yelling, hey, you can't go there, you can't go there. So literally, I have a far away picture of Marco Bellinelli. Like, literally, in the part of my eye, I had to like, bring it, like, Marco, I'm like right here. Hey, it's like, she's about to kick me out. Because I was like, dude, I said, just wanted one picture. I traveled long ways to get here. You guys don't treat your visitors with respect. Man. I don't know. Maybe it's just the LA attitude. Uh, thank you, but no thank you, Staples Center. That's it. I know this is a long video. If you guys wait, made it through the end. You know. Don't let negativity, you know, ruin your day. You know, but at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Um, hopefully, you guys like this video and very informative about Staples Center. I will link it. I will put the location on this video. And yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Peace.